We have been completely bogged down with winter viruses of some description, cough, colds, you name it, it has been there and it has completely flawed us. It has been absolutely awful, to be honest. We are in Sandwich in the marina and it's got electric hookup, it's got toilets, it's got fresh water and it's all for 15 pounds a night. Plus showers. Plus showers. Which is amazing. Yeah. Does the term sandwich derive from the town's name sandwich? Are they linked in some way? I have no idea. I don't think either of us do. I don't think we've ever looked into it. Maybe we'll find that out tomorrow. Maybe not. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm alright. I'm a bit cold. Well, it is January. <coughs> I've still got, I've got a bit of a cold, but and we live in a van, and it's, it's winter. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. But we're gonna have a cup of tea, and we're gonna get up. And I don't know what I'm doing after that. And there we are. Today's view: a glamorous car park. But it does the job. And there's plenty of room, which is always good. Right, good morning. So it's the middle of January right now, middle of winter. It is absolutely freezing in the van and outside, despite what that sunshine looks like. Although we are very grateful to see it, obviously, because it's lovely to see it this time of year. The reason you haven't seen us guys for a while is because we have been completely bogged down with winter viruses of some description cough colds you name it it has been there and it has completely flawed us it has been absolutely awful to be honest and we've had that ever since we finished work over christmas and then went to see family uh, at the end of december so it's been going for a long long time uh, we are starting to get better you might still be able to hear it in my voice but we are pulling through it now so hopefully the worst is behind us and we've decided we can't just sit here festering because it is driving us insane um it's been very frustrating because all the exercises we've done, all the th things we have do to keep ourselves active, nope, there's been none of that. So everything's kind of reset to square one, which for Stephen, who has put a lot of effort into that, um, it's really frustrating, you know, because obviously all that work and then it's you, you kind of have to restart and you just cannot do it when you're bugged down with this kind of illness. But anyway, we're pulling through it and we need to get out and do something. So we're not sure how this video is going to come together uh, because we don't even know if it's going to reach a conclusion yet. We're not sure how we're going to feel, but we need to get out and do something. So let's just see where it takes us. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to wake up, have a cup of tea, get going and we'll fill you in with everything that's happened. Although actually I've just done that really, haven't I? So yeah, but I like repeating myself, so maybe I'll do it again. So we'll see you later. Right, we're up, we're packed up, we've put the bed up, and we're about ready to go. We're all ready to go. So our plans have completely changed already, <laughs> basically. Um, we were gonna go somewhere in Kent to explore, and we were gonna go somewhere that I don't think many people do videos on, and I think we will do in future, but that place was the Isle of Sheppey. Uh, the reason we wanted to go there is because we actually met there, Stephen used to live on the Isle of Sheppey, and also because it gets a bit of a bad rep, you know, and I think, we, we're, we're very familiar with it in different ways and we wanted mm. to show off some of the things that are worth seeing and some of the interesting parts of the Isle of Sheppey and just to see if it was possible in a camper van as well. Uh, but we're not doing that, so let's just stop that conversation because mm. that's all gone a bit wrong. Everything's changed. Everything's completely changed. So what we're going to do today, we're going to head over somewhere else in Kent. We're going to head to a place called Sandwich, which is always hilarious if you've never heard the name mm. Sandwich. And of course, it's got that famous sign where you can go somewhere. There's a village called Ham, basically. Mm -hmm. And you will see a road sign at some point saying Ham Sandwich. Uh, to us, that's like whatever. But if you've never seen it before, it's probably the funniest thing in the world. So the reason we're going over to Sandwich is uh, it's actually very boring. I've got a doctor's appointment. Um, I'm not going to go into all of that. That just happens to be. We don't live in Sandwich. We live in the van. But I'm not going to go into all those details. It just happens to be where our surgery is. Um, I wish we did live in Sandwich because it's really beautiful, isn't mm. it? And if we could ever afford such a thing, that would be wonderful. Um, but Sandwich is a very pretty medieval town very small and it's uh, is it technically in Thanet I'm not sure or is it more the Dover kind of way I think it's 
Dover. Yeah, I think it comes under that. But either way, it's very close to sort of Ramsgate, Margate area, East Kent, um, basically. So that's the plan. Go and explore Sandwich. We won't push ourselves too much because we're both feeling a bit rough still. But we at least get out and about and get to see something, which will be nice. Yeah. Right, so before we head off though, we do want to say thank you to Motorhome Discoveries, isn't it? Yeah, Motorhome um, Discoveries. Thank you. Ashley and Hayley, thank Ashley you very much. Ashley and Hayley, thank you very much. We showed an Instagram where we was freezing cold because our heater wasn't working. <laughs> and they very kindly just sent us these hats. Um, well, not, you can't um, quite see them here, but we will wear them out and about. So it says, escape the race. And Stephen is wearing one with our own, our own name on it, which is nice. Which is what, Steve? Come along. Come along, dear. dear. Lean forward and show us then. Get it in, get it in. Anyway, so we're still freezing, but at least we've got some hats. Yes. So, so thank you very much. Thank you so much for that, Ashley and Hayley. We really appreciate it. And they sent us some stickers as well. Yeah, so some lovely stickers, so that'll some be nice. Stickers. So thank you very yes. much, guys. Appreciate it. Hopefully see you on the road at some point. <coughs> in the meantime, let's go to Sandwich. Let's go to Sandwich. Go to Sandwich, have a sandwich. No, it'll cost about 50 quid. It probably will cost about yeah, 50 quid, especially in Sandwich, because yeah, it, it is a really expensive little place. But it is beautiful, so hopefully we get to show off all the good sides of it uh, as best as we possibly can, uh, given the way we're feeling. It's where they make all the sandwiches for everybody in Kent. Apparently, mm. yeah. yeah. They all come from Sandwich. Yeah. That's why it's called Sandwich. Oh, of course, that makes sense now. <laughs> of course, so. Yeah. Shush, I'm trying to confuse people. So does all the ham come from ham then, I guess? Yeah, oh. <laughs> of course. Okay. <laughs> So we're in Canterbury Park and Ride at the moment. We're just filling up our water tank. Um, we're a bit dubious about this at the moment because it's so cold. Sometimes we try and avoid putting water in the tank, but we're kind of chancing it this time. We're kind of thinking if we fill it all the way up, there might be enough water that it hopefully won't freeze. But what I will say is our tank, I forget how many liters it takes, but it takes absolutely ages to fill up. And we never really understand why, because when we use the water out the tap, it never seems to last that long, does it? Yeah. So I don't know, <coughs> Stephen sort of thinks we, we end up losing water as we're driving, but I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but we end up waiting here, we've just put it in now, and it'll be about 15 minutes, won't it, I think? Yeah, it takes about 10 minutes. 10, ages. 15 minutes <coughs> to fill up. I think it's about 60 litres, is it? And as you were saying before, we, we try to if we are going to fill it up during cold weather we'll try to only use the taps in the evening so we've been driving around for a bit so it's had chance to defrost so in the morning um, we won't actually put the taps on in case the pipes are frozen but we'll have some in a bottle in the van ready and do it that way so that tends to work doesn't it I think. yeah okay so i've had time to go and pay for the ticket go to the toilet and come back and it's still going yeah Oh, it's actually leaking out. So this is how we know uh, when it's ready, the water starts dripping out and that's when we know it's full up. So just in time. Right, where are we, Stevie? We are in Sandwich. We are on in the marina and we are staying on a staying on site and it's got electric hookup, it's got toilets, it's got fresh water and it's all for 15 pounds a night. Plus showers. Plus showers. Which is amazing. Yeah. It's a bit rough and ready. You're literally in a boat yard and we contacted the site and the man, really friendly, uh, he came out to meet us and you get in through a gate and there's all sorts of equipment and you know, you can tell it's a working site. But it's absolutely fine. It's a good. Seems like a nice enough place to stay, and as I said, it's very close to the town. So fifteen pounds for all of those things. That's really good, isn't it, Stephen? I think so. Yeah, it's very rare that you actually find that. So we're debating about staying another night because I've actually got two doctor's appointments. <laughs> I'm not going to go into all this, but I've got another appointment the day after tomorrow uh, for a, the same sort of thing. But anyway, that we're debating whether to stay again. So the sun's starting to set now. So we're not going to do a full walk around but this is where we are just outside sandwich and some very pretty lights all over the toilets and showers which is always nice <laughs> so it's all in a little hut right next to where we're parked we've got a shower and there's a toilet in there obviously we've got sinks with hot water your rhinos around there and a hand dryer we've got a hand dryer what a luxury and you can't quite see because it's getting dark but we're on the banks of the river stour i believe which runs right the way up to canterbury and then runs out to sea close to ramsgate and pegwall bay and a lot of these boats do that at the weekends 
Right, so we're going to get settled down for the night, get the bed set up, get some dinner on, and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow where we go exploring sandwich in the day. Hopefully the weather will be like today where the sun's been out, fingers crossed for that. Um, does the term sandwich derive from the town's name sandwich? Are they linked in some way? I have no idea. I don't think either of us do. I don't think we've ever looked into it. Maybe we'll find that out tomorrow. Maybe not. But yeah, either way, we'll catch up with you then. And one last thing. My nose looks like some kind of comedy cartoon Rudolph cold nose right now which is really awful <laughs> so the sooner this clears up the better to be honest I look like some kind of beacon a light at the end of a bike or a clown nose whatever you want to call it or a lighthouse <laughs> or a lighthouse as Stephen said yeah it's that bad warding off all the shit <laughs> Yeah, forget lighthouses, just, I'm a beacon, just, just put me on the end of a stick rotating around and you'll save so many ships from crashing into rocks, honestly, I'll just do that, as long as you pay me, I'll be alright with that. Yeah, Ugh, but I'd rather it just disappeared altogether, to be honest. Right, how are you feeling, Stevie? I'm alright. Right. Are you all ready to explore Sandwich? Yep. Right, before we go exploring around Sandwich, uh, we're going to get to the hot topic of where the name Sandwich and the actual item of a sandwich originated from because we didn't know so we did a little bit of research so basically and we wondered whether the town or the sandwich came first what, what came first a bit like the chicken or the egg so what happened it was in 1762 John Montague who was the fourth Earl of Sandwich um, he kind of is credited with inventing the sandwich because he used to like gambling basically so while he was sat at his card table he decided he didn't want to leave to get his dinner so he requested that some roast beef was placed between two slices of bread so he could eat something with his hands whilst continuing to gamble basically apparently he had quite a gambling problem so <laughs> his that his love for playing cards um, meant that he wanted to eat and carry on so that kind of started the invention of the sandwich um, apparently now, to me, I'm quite shocked that any the sandwich is credited as being started, invented, if you like, that late in history, 1762. That feels quite recent for something that's so... Uh, what's the word, Stephen? It's quite sort of... Ubiquitous. Well, yeah, it's like we all know what a sandwich is, and it's nothing particularly creative, is it? It's one bit of bread, another bit of bread, something slapped in the middle. So it's the sort of thing you imagine has been around for longer than that. The question now is, was ubiquitous the right word? Ubiquitous, yeah, everywhere, that means everywhere at once, doesn't it? Like, we all know it's all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I know a word I didn't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> Come on. Right, let's go. Now we know about sandwiches, let's go and explore sandwich. And sandwich is twinned with Honfleur. So if you look back in our videos, there's a video where we went to Honfleur when we finished our trip over in Europe last year. Although Sandwich is a small town, there is plenty here to savour if you're into quaint historic buildings and on your walk around you'll find plenty of these and plenty of these too, which provide details of Sandwich's past for every part of the town. And of course, it would be disappointing if a place called Sandwich didn't have one of these. place is posh when even a taxi place is in a building like this. I mean, <laughs> can you actually believe it? It is absolutely freezing. So we've just climbed to the top of the clock tower. I forget the name of the church. I'm really sorry. I'll put it down there. Um, we've just been in a museum. I think it's called the Guildhall Museum. And there was a really informative guy who works in there who told us about the history of the area. It's a free museum and there's all sorts of information on sandwich. And you realise just how important this place was. And the town has so much history and connections with royalty and important historical figures. It's unbelievable. Um, in the museum, there is a letter from Richard III uh, from about 1483 was it Stephen? I've got the dates right <laughs> um, to the mayor of Sandwich warning him about an impending attack from the French and to prepare for it basically and the, the letter's still there the original letter by the looks of it it's been kind of transcribed because obviously it's very difficult to read um, 
So that was really interesting. And also, various monarchs have visited here. Elizabeth I came here. There's a stained glass window in the old courtroom, which we <coughs> didn't take pictures of, but it's absolutely beautiful. So much of it is well preserved, and all the old seats, all the wooden furnishings, etc. It's all still there. So absolutely amazing. Lovely, lovely, but I'm cold. I want to get back to yeah, you. Yeah, I'm cold. All right, let's go. <laughs> freezing outside so we've done the obvious sensible thing and gone to the pub so cheers to that cheers cheers morning morning how are you feeling today rubbish <laughs> That's the only answer, rubbish it's really weird because i've had this for weeks and you started with it then you had nothing yeah. and now as i'm getting better of course you're now getting it in a really bad way so I think for both of us, this is going to stretch to about a month long now, isn't it, in total? Aye. Aye. Well, I'm not doing a lot today. That's it. I'm just in my blankets. That's as much as I'm doing today. Steve's doing a Steveism. Yeah. So Steve's going to wait here. We spent another night on this funny little site here in Sandwich, the boatyard, um, which has been all right. And I'm gonna go into town, into Sandwich today, and do a bit of a mop up, if you like, of some of the things that we didn't see yesterday. Um, I don't think there's much, it's a very small town, but there's some bits and pieces we didn't go down, um, and I want some fresh air as well. So I'm gonna have a little walk, and there's a little walk around the walls of Sandwich. I mean, you can't see the walls, but it, <laughs> it's a path around the outside of the town. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Um, Stephen's gonna get everything set up, and then we're gonna make our way make our way onwards and run away from this illness maybe it'll be better in a different place who knows i don't think it no, will I be i don't think it will be <laughs> so the thing about this place we're staying at is you would never know it was here um it's right down a side road and it's kind of on a industrial estate full of so many different things um and you go down a little road then you go have to go down another one to find it then it's in a little gated compound so you could never ever stumble upon it by accident um, but it is on park for night so and it's probably in other places as well um, and it's listed as like not a campsite but obviously a paid for place to stay which is quite good but it is only suitable for small vans because when you go in there's only a couple of spaces but you have to drive up a very steep ramp which is really only suitable for vans of our type or smaller really I would say you can stay in a car park in Sandwich overnight, I believe, but I think the majority of them are also about £10 for 24 hours. So the only benefit of that is you're actually right in the town and much closer to it. But this is only a 15 minute walk. So in all honesty, if you've got a van small enough, I would say this is well worth doing if you want to visit Sandwich. Out of all the options you've got. And as we said yesterday, twinned with Honfleur, which we visited at the end of our Europe trip last year. But Sandwich is just being greedy. It's twinned with three places, apparently. I'm never really sure what twinning means, but you've probably seen it on, on all sorts of signs where random towns are twinned with somewhere, usually in France or Belgium. Um, and I don't know if it's because they have some kind of similarity. I guess there is between Honfleur and Sandwich a little bit. But generally, I'm not sure how they decide these things. But Sandwich decides it wants three. So fair enough.
right, good afternoon. Um, okay, so I did go back into Sandwich and I did have a look around again, but I kind of cut it short because I was sort of retreading old ground and I wasn't sure what we filmed and what we didn't film. And I mm. thought, you know, I don't want to just be repeating the same old, very pretty, but the same buildings that we'd seen before. So I kind of came back and we needed to get on anyway. And because we're like completely rubbish at this, it's now two days later and we never actually finished the video. <laughs> so we're finishing the video now. So there's at least some kind of structure to it. Yep. So that's it. Yep, so that's the end of that. We have just filled up our gas tank and now we are heading off to Essex, I think. Essex. We're heading north of London and we're not really sure where it's going to take us. Mm -hmm. um, so we're kind of looking forward to it. We're going to, we've decided we're going to completely throw ourselves into van life. I know we've been doing that anyway because we've <laughs> lived in it for two years, but there's been some negative moments and some times where we've yeah. found it tough and we've kind of decided when we've got the chance to travel, when we're not working, um, let's just enjoy it, you exactly. know, and it is going to be difficult at times, especially when you're feeling ill, but l let's just, we've got this kind of newfound, um, yeah. what's the word? Just reinvigorating yeah. ourselves, really, in terms of what we're doing and while we're doing it. So that's like, come on, let's go have some fun. Yeah, let's, because let's, it's let's not going to be forever, and it's kind of like, yeah, let's just enjoy it while we can, while we are doing it. You know, let's mm. throw ourselves into it. Uh, that's not to say we're not going to moan about things because we still will. Uh, that's just who we are. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to leave you there. So that's the end of the video. Um, if you haven't already, please give the video a like, a thumbs up, that'll really help us out. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing, it's totally free, just press the button. And also press the notification bell because then you don't miss an episode or whatever that precisely does. Mm. Um, and that's it. Just subscribe, don't make us beg. Yeah, <laughs> we will beg. Right, that's it, I'm ending the video now, otherwise Dan will continue to talk just and then we'll never, never leave. So that's it, we'll see you next week, have a good one. Bye. Thank you, bye.